Well, hello to all my vampire slayers out there. My name is EJ and welcome to my channel. I promised at the beginning of this year to talk about LGBTQ content, to talk about horror movies. Well, we have the perfect mixture of all that right now. We will be discussing the Tubi original. Yes, I said Tubi original. We're discussing the movie Slay. If there was ever something perfectly crafted for my sensibilities, it would be the movie Slay. If you took the film Tu Wong Fu and mixed it with From Dust Till Dawn, you would get this. I absolutely had a blast with this. This ended up being way better than I thought. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Tubi's not paying me, so I can be a little bit brutally honest here. I didn't expect much from a Tubi original film. It's a free to watch streaming service with ads sprinkled throughout with movies that I'm each time I'm like, how did you get the rights to this movie? So Tubi amazes me as a product that exists on its own, but I use it quite often. I should be paid by them for the amount of time I've spent watching low budget horror films from the 2000s or foreign films that most people have never even heard of. I'm always impressed with the Tubi selection. So when I saw the trailer for this movie, which features a couple of the Drag Race contestants, we have Heidi in Closet, we have Trinity to the Tuck, Crystal Method, and Caramel. All four of these contestants are people I very much enjoyed during their runs of Drag Race. So I was just like, what do you mean all four of them are going to be in a movie where they face off against vampires in a biker bar? I thought this was a fever dream. I thought this wasn't real. So I watched it last night and I was just like, whoa, this movie was far more entertaining, far more well made. Like this was, this didn't need to be as good as it was. I pure on expected schlock, low budget, you know, remember ticked off tea girls with knives? I'm not going to say the real word and get canceled. Do you guys remember that movie from the 2000s? Especially if you're anyone familiar with Drag Race, we had like Willem in that movie. Oh, I was expecting one of those, like a purely, wow, I can't believe we made this movie with a $1.50 and some hopes and dreams. I'm not saying this was a big budget experience, but they used their budget correctly here. This was a low budget film that understood its limitations, that played within its limitations, and actually made a compelling, fun, thrilling movie that I watched from start to finish with a smile on my face. Also, they had the needle drops of like Boss Bitch by Doja Cat and WAP in here, and I'm like... Whoa, whoa, there's good music, fun acting, decent special effects with the vampire kills, and I, I just, that's, those are the three qualifications I wanted, was good vibes, good acting, good special effects with the vampires, and I got each one of those. I can't complain, I can't diss this, I can only praise how much I loved Slay. The premise for Slay is pretty simple. Four queens, Trinity, who is playing Mama, Heidi, who is playing Robin, we have Crystal Method playing Bella, and we have Caramel playing Olive. These four queens are broke. They're traveling through the country trying to find their next gig. They did sign themselves up to perform at a bar that they think is this highly prestigious bar where they're going to make bank. Surprise, they're at a, like a, a, a biker bar in the middle of nowhere, nothing to do without their intended audience. So instantly you're getting these like biker people who aren't used to the, the LGBTQ kind of vibes. You have that group and then you have the queens and it's an instant butting of the heads. And I like that they didn't like uh, they didn't shy away from the kind of bigotry you would see. Even when the vampires are attacking, people still have time in this movie to be bigoted and small minded. Though throughout the movie, which is what I wanted to see, we saw one of the most bigoted people, one of the most hard headed. Oh, I don't want these queens here. They broke down and they were nicer and they started realizing stuff. So yeah, I really thought this premise was simple, easy to do. Vampires roll in, they have to defend the bar. This movie though had t twists and turns that I didn't expect. There were stakes here, no pun intended, that I, this movie did not need to have an emotional moment, did not need to sacrifice main characters or anything like that, but they went that route. They really attempted to make something like serious here. And I will say throughout it, I loved the Queen's performances. The one who impressed me the most, though, was Trinity the Tuck. I remember Trinity on acting challenges in Drag Race. 
I expected a bit, but the fight choreography, the the humor, the drama, I thought Trinity was really one of the best out of the group. I really loved Heidi and Closet as well. Heidi and Closet, I think, is one of the funniest, most entertaining queens we've ever had from Drag Race. So Heidi really played this character well. I will say Caramel and Crystal Method both got pretty flat characters. I think no one really has time in this movie to be a full three-dimensional experience, but I will say uh, I, I do believe Crystal's character, who is just kind of the ditzy dumb one, and Caramel, who is the one bickering, trying to find that, that top spot going against the mama character, you know, those two just kind of got a bit eh for me. But overall, I thought all four of these queens did well carrying this movie. There is other actors throughout. There's like a bartender named Dusty, who I absolutely loved. Like I said, there was that one main biker guy who didn't like the queens. And then we have like these two super fans, one of them in love with Heidi in the Closet's character, and the other who is this kind of queer girl who is just obsessed with the queens as well. They're the ones who really want them to perform. And what a night that these two super fans get. I can imagine as a Drag Race super fan going to my local bar in my area and vampires attack and then I'm like getting defended by Sasha Colby and like, I don't know, Trinity as well. It's like truly I'm like, whoa, this premise as a Drag Race fan, I love seeing that this wasn't just a RuPaul's Drag Race acting challenge. It was it, it was more than that. It was a again, a well thought out, well intended, well made indie slasher vampire low budget movie it had all those little things that i needed that i was just like oh you could have made this worse sure some of the jokes are a little on the nose you get the pronouns joke you get this this or this but overall everything was better intended like better made than this had like i said any right to be now, overall, I praise the film, but I want to give a special shout out to director Jem Gerard, I believe her name is, I believe their name is. I cannot believe what they did with a low budget indie movie like this. Again, above and beyond. They punched above their like weight class. I was truly like, girl, you didn't need to do everything you did. You didn't need to go this route with the vampires, with the lore, with the references. They are not afraid to reference other vampire stuff. They're not afraid to reference real life things. This movie took a lot of what I thought was going to be cringe and made it easy to go. Again, I'm so used to RuPaul's Drag Race acting challenges where these queens are like AI generated scripts, reading the worst cringiest thing that just makes RuPaul laugh. No, we actually saw jokes in here that felt relevant, that felt new. We had jokes and commentary. The the commentary, the, you know, it's a social commentary in an indie budget horror comedy. I wasn't really expecting to be like, touched by the things but this movie said things and it had a point of view and it had things to do again these are little things here or there that i think this director really they they they, they put themselves into it i really loved what she did as a filmmaker as a low budget film you know as a it's hard it is hard i've i've worked on indie productions it's not easy to one know your limitations and work within them it was never a time where i thought the special effects were bad because they were trying to shoot something that they didn't have the money for everything was tight well made where it needed to be the jokes were good the gags were good you know if it's like oh here's a stunt we're gonna need crystal method to do they shot it in a way that we weren't endangering anybody but we're, we weren't making it like oh that looked bad everything was tight where it needed to be it's just impressive to see one i might be watching more to be originals if they can keep pumping out things like this with a you know a, a gaggle of drag queens that i enjoy with a solid queer director with a queer point of view and just again a, a budget that's used within its means i will be watching more of these tubi originals because this one sold me way more than i thought it would well everyone that is it for my quick little breakdown of slay i had a blast with this tubi blew me out of the water director gem congratulations for making this and to our queens caramel heidi crystal and trinity congratulations for owning and making a queer lgbt vampire film a queer horror film that all of us can enjoy for generations this movie should be just beyond the 2b sphere beyond the drag race sphere it's a fun indie movie that everyone needs to check out but if you are a drag race fan if you're a vampire fan there's a lot of special little nuggets in here for you all right everyone what did you think of this movie what do you think of my review if you have not seen the movie yet it's on tubi it's a free app i don't know if you're actually if you are out of the country. I don't know if Tubi's there for you. 
I don't know, find it. This movie's worth it. Find it. Make sure you guys watch it. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up. If you want to see more content, suggest what you want to see down below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscription. Hit that little bell. And let's talk about Slay right down here. Oh, 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 oh,